Hello, my name is Ilya Orson Sandoval, and here I'm going to present a work solving constraint control with neural feedback policies in defect blocks. The basic idea is inspired by neural ODEs and reinforcement learning, as well as the differentiable programming demo of blocks where it solves a trebuchet problem. A neural network is used to parameterize a feedback policy that takes as input the state of the system and outputs the controls at each point of time during the continuous solution of a differential equation. We are dealing with an optimal control problem in BOLSA form, with an integral running cost and a final cost, fixed initial conditions, uh, fixed integration time, and considering inequality constraints through the process. The control function is replaced by the policy and the optimization then runs over the coefficients of it making it equivalent to a parameter estimation problem. Constraints are handled separately to simplify the analysis and to avoid handling the distinction between segments where the constraints are active or inactive. Hot control constraints are enforced through saturation with the last nonlinearity of the policy. Soft state constraints are enforced with a relaxed barrier function that is defined outside the feasible region and can converge to the classical interior point barriers by increasing a parameter. The Euler-Lagrange necessary conditions are derived by enforcing the dynamics with smooth Lagrange multipliers and by introducing a Hamiltonian function, the conditions can be expressed easily as a system of differential equations with boundary conditions at the initial and final time. The control vector iteration technique relaxes the last optimality condition and then the gradient of the loss can be expressed directly as an integral of the remaining differential equation. The procedure to solve the differential equation problem follows the neural ODE approach, taking advantage of automatic differentiation and a joint sensitivity analysis from the Julia ecosystem to get the gradient of the loss to be further used for optimization. We test the approach in the control band of oscillator, where there is a final cost objective and the state constraints are handled through the running penalty. The role of the variable relaxation can be seen in a more complicated problem where successive optimizations with a steeper relaxed barrier allow the process to satisfy both running and final state constraints. This approach leverages trajectory optimization techniques to approximate a closed loop solution. It uses directly the information of the model and handles continuous time dynamics naturally. It is important to test uh, various initial condition profiles as difficulties may arise when dealing with long time dependencies. If you are interested in playing with the code, it is possible to do so in this repo. Thank you.